Hey everyone, welcome to D20 Woodworking, and today I want to talk a bit about my Twitch channel. Now the reason is because I don't know how many people over here on YouTube go hang out with me over on Twitch, and you really should. It's twitch.tv backslash D20 Woodworking. We play all different uh, sorts of LCGs, we play other board games, we play video games, we do a ton of different things. But the reason I want to bring this up uh, today is because one of the interesting things that we do is we play a game called Marbles. Now, Marbles is kind of what it sounds like. It's basically a race simulation game, right? You name a bunch of marbles, they go down different marble tracks, some fly off, some get stuck, and eventually one wins. Whatever that winning marble is, that's kind of the random villain or hero or scenario or whatever else we play as. And recently, I decided to take this a step further. I wanted to do something where it was mostly completely random. Now, I couldn't do marbles for an entirely random game, uh, but I want to do it for as much as humanly possible. So I decided to do that with Marvel Champions because I enjoy Marvel Champions so much. So I played a game of marbles for the hero, for the aspect, for the villain, and the modular sets used. And I won't spoil what the results were of it, but it was a pretty interesting game. Um, I think it was a lot of fun. So after we show the marbles game, I'll show you the actual gameplay footage of, of one of the better games I played. It was great fun. And uh, yeah, if, if you want to see more stuff like this, if you want to see you know us play Marvels Live or anything like that and then lead into playing you know Marvel Champions Live or Lord of the Rings or Arkham or whatever else, make sure that I go hang out with us over on twitch.tv backslash d20 woodworking. And if you enjoy videos like this, do me a huge, huge favor. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. All that stuff helps so much. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so coming down the track, uh, something through the middle. Oh, leadership running around the outside. Okay, falling through. Interesting. So I can't really see the jump in there, but I guess it's their Hulk lead with a leadership. Hulk leadership deck could be interesting. There we go. All right, Justice making its way through. That's fine. Um, coming out slowly is Leadership Hulk Justice. So then aggression. Okay, so it's all of our aspects are leading the way. Oh, but there are bumps in here that could pop up at any second, launching someone out. So just because Hulk is up there now doesn't mean he's going to be. All right, so we're coming through. This will slow everyone down here too. These are major slowdowns right here. Man, Groot's all the way back there. All right, Leadership Hulk is still a thing right now. Um, okay. <laughs> Followed by Justice, which I, I know I could do Justice Hulk. All right, Spider-Man's catching up. I like that. Oh, this is fun. It looks like a little tunnel. Oh, okay. I guess they're all going up. No one fell out of that tunnel. Hulk still just crushing everyone. I mean, no one's even taking a different path down there. Like, at all. Oh my god, don't. We're actually getting near like Hulk being a feasible thing right now. Like, like someone's got here. I mean, he's leading the whole way. There's no way. I mean, a Nebula is finally coming. Oh no, there goes Miles. All right, we need Hulk to launch. Launch him. Launch him. All right, maybe he gets lost in here. Right? There's a <laughs> there's a chance he just gets stuck in here for like an hour. Oh, Nebula, Valkyrie. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, oh, get stuck. Get stuck. Come on, Scarlet Witch. Go. Go. Okay. All right. What? Uh, there goes Star Lord. There goes Venom. There goes Nova. So, what aspect? Leadership got stuck way in the back then. You, you did tell me. <laughs> oh, it's going to be leadership too. There's leadership just fell in. So Hulk, Scarlet Witch, Valkyrie. Uh, yeah, I think it's le a leadership Hulk. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, please just don't be Ronin. All right. So, oh, wow. That really goes on for a while. All right. So leading the way is Mysterio maybe? Oh, uh, yeah, Mysterio. Hella's in there, Red Skull's in there. Yeah, Red Skull's in there. So you're gonna go two for two with Red Skull. Interesting. Okay, hopefully not. Uh, what is it? Zola, oh, Zola's jumping. Oh wait, Drang. Okay, Drang, the hood. 
Interesting. <clears throat> Venom is about to fall out. No, Venom's hanging on. Oh, they gotta break through the rocks. Oh, that's fun. The rocks always slow everything down. All right. Drang making his way through. All right, the Drang is really crushing it right now. Oh, wait, there goes the hood. Okay, the hood wouldn't be terrible, right? I, I feel like that's doable. But here they go through the snow. Thanos is catching up with Claw. Man, they're all kind of packed in there. All right, the hood's running away. Mm -mm. Oh, man, with the hood, though, we're going to have to figure out <coughs> eight different encounter decks. So we're going to have to note the top eight. All right, there goes Drang and the hood, Claw and Thanos. Now, right here, this could change a lot. One of these pops up in the right spot for me. Game over for the hood. I kind of slowed everyone down that that rubble. Come on, hood. No, Rodin, pop up, Rodin. Are you kidding me right now? Rodin, are you are you kidding me right now? <laughs> All right, Ronin takes the lead. Actually, it says Loki's in first, but I don't know why. But realistically, Ronin has taken the lead. Uh, the hood, though, racing right behind, so there's still a chance that I don't lose my mind. Loki is caught up. They're all stuck behind those rocks. Like, they are straight up stuck. Oh, Nebula fell off. Alright, Kang is going to come down. Oh my god, I don't want to do Kang. Alright, so they're all just stuck behind those rocks. So, Kang and Collector 2. Oh my god, Collector 2 would actually be worse. Alright, Kang racing through. The giant wheel thing. I don't know if this is going to be good or not. If anything goes down the middle of there, it should go a lot faster. Oh, Collector 2. Making moves. Oh my god, it's going to be like a toss between them. And Hella coming out of nowhere. Hella. Okay. Final rock barrier. Smash it through. Just keep... Oh, there goes Ronin. Thank god. Okay. There goes the HUD. It's fine. This is it. Major rock pile. Something's got to break it. Oh, no. The, no. No. The collector one just bounced. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Leadership Hulk against the collector. All right. Maria Hill, Ironheart. Kalu, Crushing Blow, and Power of All of Us. So Power of All of Us can pay for Ironheart right off the bat, which is nice. Crushing Blow probably won't work now. Kalu won't work now. Uh, Maria Hill is... Ugh. I want her to work now, but I don't think she does. I'm going to hold on to Maria just in case. Um... Yeah, I'm going to hold on to Maria just in case. All right, we'll draw two. Government liaison and thunderclap. Okay. Okay, that's not terrible. So what we could do... Is we could draw a card and then discard one card from our hand to use our special ability. Oh, that's a crushing blow. All right, we'll get rid of thunderclap. All right, I, no, we're gonna keep Maria. I think this will work out all right. So we're gonna do power all of us to pay for government liaison. Exhaust government liaison to play a shield card you hand, reducing its cost by one. We'll throw away crushing blow to play Maria, and or I'm sorry, we'll throw away crushing blow. Use government liaison to play Maria. So let's just, sorry, should have been flipped over. So let's just draw up one card. Hulk and Ironheart, Blah, and I have to throw away these cards. Okay. I wanted her because she could thwart two off of this. It's actually the main reason why I wanted her. And then Hulk is just going to Hulk smash and do three, right? That's what we kind of have to do is just be aggressive. And then we ready up and we, we do the greatest ability possible. We dump all of our cards. 
So that's great. And then we draw four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Interesting. So one goes on to here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Because when we throw away cards, we can actually use this. This might actually work out all right. All right, so. He's going to attack for one. We're just going to let it hit us, right? Just. Hulk's got 18 life. Whatever. One attack. Two. Two damage to Hulk. I, I just don't care. Bad card. Assault. The villain attacks you, which is fine. One. Two. Another two. <coughs> All right. That's fine. Now it's our turn. So. We're not genius, so we can't play Ingenuity. But is it worth flipping over? Because what we can do is play an Ant-Man. Actually, this might, that might be what we do, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a double to play Ant-Man. It's going to put two Pim counters on him. Then I'm going to attack with Hulk to bring him down to seven. Two, four, six, seven. We're going to um, thwart with Ant-Man to get two off of here. I just hope he doesn't scheme for a lot. I'm going to flip down and dump the power all of us. Not dump it. Use it to play Ingenuity. So at least we get a resource in there. And that's it. Then we're ready up. And we get five guards. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> Excuse me. Now right, we got a bunch of his cards. All right, whatever. One goes on here. He's going to scheme for two, three. After his activation ends, reveal this card. So he gets three on here. So we reveal the card. We attach the collector. When collector would take any amount of damage, put this card face up into the collection. Prevent all that damage. Then place threat on the main scheme equal to the amount uh, prevented this way. That's a terrible card. Take any man damage, put this card face up into the collection. All right, that card. Uh, Philosopher's Stone. It puts five onto it. Basically gives him a, a boost card. Two, four, five. All right, now it's my turn. So, So let's think about this, what we could do. So Hello Carrier, we can get him with government liaison and two cards, right? Then unstoppable force, we can use a science and another card to ready Hulk. Which wouldn't be terrible. But then we're gonna end up with some cards in the collection. Is Unstoppable Force good enough? I don't think it is. I don't think that's really what we want to do. I actually think I'm going to draw a card and do a special ability and see what we get. Oh, Meditation. Okay. So we have to throw away something. Let's throw away Thunderclap because that doesn't make sense right now. All right, do we want? Meditation can get someone in cheap. We can get Squirrel Girl in, deals one damage, and we put just one threat on there. I kind of like the idea of that. I think we're going to actually do that. We're going to use Meditation to reduce the cost of Squirrel Girl to exhaust us. Puts her in, does one damage, which doesn't really happen. One just goes here, puts one threat in the main scheme. This goes into the collection. This will be our collection pile down here. So we have one card in the collection as of now. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll just work on getting Hella Carrier. So let's flip over. We can exhaust government liaison and ingenuity. 
and throw away something, doesn't really matter, to put Helicarrier into play. Um, let's, so that's at six. Let's thwart with Squirrel Girl one, just to keep this down a little bit. So we want to do it with Maria two. And now we'll put her in the collection, but maybe we can work our way, get her out. Because if we start getting, uh, I do want to get rid of that card in the collection. Um, and we only have one card left, which kind of stinks. Now nah, let's keep everyone for right now, just in case something happens. So we're ready up. And then this card gets dumped, which is fine. Four cards, one, two, three, four. All right, so another government ladies on War Machine, a double in meditation. We can get War Machine in there, which is just... <coughs> Excuse me. All right, this goes up by one. He's going to attack me. I'm just going to take it by one plus one. Four total. That card. All right, Crystal Ball. All right, Acceleration Icon now. Which is less good. And that's my turn. All right. So what we can do, which is nice. What we're going to do is let's thwart two with Maria. So if she gets knocked out. We need to start working on this card, right? Now she's in the collection. We want to get War Machine in there. So we're going to exhaust everything. One, two, three. And we'll throw away a card to get War Machine in there. Then let's just exhaust Hulk. Oh, sorry. He has to get tough. Sorry, so sorry. Let's just exhaust Hulk. Choose to either exhaust your hero or spend two resources of any type. Discard one card from the collection. Okay? We'll get rid of that. Discard it. So discard uh, exhausting Hulk. We'll spend a double to put another government liaison in play. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we won't do anything yet with that. And we'll keep everything else the way it is. Now we'll ready up. Oops. Draw four. Two, three, four. Ooh, that's interesting. I still have to play that contest of champions. One, two, three, four. All right. <coughs> One goes on to here. Or I'm sorry, two goes on to here. Because of this. He's going to attack. War Machine's going to block this. So one, two, three, four. We give it a shadow. So he's got tough. Awesome. Back card. Uh, uh, discard upgrade support. We'll just get rid of one of the government liaisons. Oh, wait, wait. No, it goes here, right? Yeah, so it actually goes there. So caught off guard's terrible for us. Okay. So. Okay. Let's get rid of Ant-Man. We'll thwart two off of here. Because we need that to, to come down a bit. And that gets rid of Ant-Man. Puts him in the collection. We're going to do another one with Squirrel Girl. Which gets rid of this. Which puts this not in the collection. Because it's a victory card. The Squirrel Girl does go in the victory, but we get to reduce a card's cost by three. <coughs> We're actually going to put in Mockingbird and stun him. And then we can exhaust all these cards, two, three, throw away these two to put in Doom Doom Dugan. Then we can exhaust Hulk to throw away one in the collection. 
Yeah, he can collect everything. Anything that was in play that was about to leave, he will get. So, like, not event cards. Um, Mockingbird is going to thwart one off of here. And him we want to keep, right? Because if we use both of these, we can thwart for five. And really, actually, we could get rid of this one in one shot. So we're going to hold on to him for now. And we'll ready up. So far, so good. And he's stunned anyway. One, two, three, four. Earth's many here's blade sub. Okay, yeah, so we got cards we can throw away, which is kind of nice. So this, this is going to be good, actually. All right, so one, he is stunned. Bad card. Oh, no, it gets a surge. Discard any other setting. Each character in play gets plus one attack. All right, so everyone's a character, right? More reveal. Put the lowest cost card you control into the collection. <coughs> Shoot. Uh, that's gonna be in ingenuity. That stinks. Oh, that's not what we needed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Doom Doom Dugan's ability. We're gonna exhaust these two. Exhaust two shield cards. So we're gonna thwart for five. And that's going to get rid of this stone right off the bat. Shoot, I should have put this one back. So, in getting rid of it, the player who defeated this scheme may draw two cards, which is what we're going to do. A double in meditation. Alright, so what we'll do is throw away a genius... Okay, actually, what we'll do is we'll do Hulk Exhaust <coughs> to get rid of a card in here. Then we'll play Earth's Mightiest Heroes to exhaust an Avenger, the War Machine, to ready up Hulk. I wish you could stack that and do it multiple times. So we can attack with Hulk now and do three damage. Then we can throw away a double and meditation to do suboptimal leap. <coughs> Excuse me, jeez. And that lets us remove three threat. So two, three. All right, we have to figure out when that gets discarded. That's gonna stink. Yeah, suboptimal. It wasn't that great. It was an okay leap. Hence, suboptimal. <laughs> and then, um, Mockingbird will attack for one. Attack for one? Oh no, she attacks for two. Because this is giving each character in play two. Right? I assume I'm a character. Anyone can correct me on that though, but I'm pretty sure everyone's a character right now. All right, let's ready up. These cards get thrown away. Two, three, four. <coughs> All right, Nick Fury, a triple. Okay. Interesting. Okay, the one goes on here. It's going to attack for two. I'm going to let that hit me. It's four damage. Bad card. Uh, collector attacks you with plus one. If you take any amount of damage from this attack, put the top card of your deck face up in the collection. So I might as well just let Mockingbird take this. So two, three, four, five. Ooh. <coughs> and she goes in the collection. All right. It's my turn. So, we 
need to get that collection down. So let's exhaust Hulk to get Mockingbird out of there. I can use my triple to pay for an upgrade. Throw away Nick Fury to pay for Boundless Rage. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that really the best way of doing that? Because I don't know if I want him to attack again just yet. Or thwart again. <coughs> Alright, so... We could get Nick Fury in there, but when Nick Fury leaves, he's going to go in here. Which is the only bad thing. Yeah, I can't put Nick Fury in there. It just doesn't make sense yet. So I'll throw away a triple. Put him in there. Throw away Nick. Do that. War Machine. Can thwart for two. Um. <coughs> Take three damage. Or do we just do two damage and go into the next collector stage? Um. Now nah, we'll keep the two thwart. We'll do the damage and go to the next collector. That's so fourteen. I think we could do fourteen damage pretty fast, right? And we're ready up. One, two, three, four. Oh no. All right. All right, we need a 14 damage turn and then we'll be uh, good to go. All right, Earth's triple, unstoppable force, Hulk smash. Oh my God, we can win. All we have to do is survive. Okay. One goes on to here. He's going to attack. I'm just going to let Hulk hit, get hit in the face. So two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. I still have one life. Oh, no, I have a lot more because I plus four hit points. And I retaliate one. Back cards. Discard an upgrade or support you control. Um, I'll get rid of government liaison for right now. Okay, attach the enemy with the highest scheme. It's, it's going to be him. Okay, so I think we won. Because, <coughs> excuse me, all I have to do is Hulk smash with a triple. And I'm attacking for 3, four, 14. And I knocked him out in one hit. Hulk is the greatest hero in the history of this game. <laughs> I could also throw away these two cards just in case I'm slightly off get government liaison back let's say and then exhaust helicarrier to attack with doom doom for another four holy cow that actually worked out well and war machine could still attack for two Hulk is the greatest hero <laughs>